Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Project and Seminars. In this session, I'm going to discuss latest mini project which can be done in a simple manner. This video will be useful for circuit branch students, especially ECE and the triple branches. Moving on to the discussion. So in the student point of view, it is very easy to do the following uh, mini project topic. Number one, you can see the title, the development of single phase inverter. So you, you already know that inverter is a device uh, which convert DC power supply to AC power supply. So you need to design and develop a single phase inverter. First, you have to identify the proper circuit diagram. Okay, circuit is required. Later, you need to study the working. How does it work? Okay, usually the single phase inverter comprises of four uh, switches. Okay, you can use either MOSFET or IGBT. Now, you have to study the proper working. Or, okay, also you need to design the, for example, how uh, the 230, you have to convert 12 volt to corresponding uh, AC, AC voltage. Suppose your input, whatever the input is available, that is from the battery or solar panel. That has to be connected to uh, the load through the inverter. Okay, so first you have to uh, purchase a battery. You have to design a battery. Okay, you have to find out the capacity. Later, you have to rig up the inverter. You can see the inverter. This is your inverter circuit. So better you can start, you can try the inverter circuit in a single breadboard. Once it is successful, you can convert into uh, the PCB, printed circuit board. Okay, so this is actually glass epoxy type PCB. Uh, it is a bit costly. You can go for dotted PCB. That is more than sufficient. Okay. Uh, so if it is for high rate inverter, you can go for glass epoxy. If it is low rate, it means you can go for small dotted uh, type uh, PCB. That is more than sufficient. But then you can connect the output to any of the light load, light lighting load. Fine. So uh, this is actually first. Better I can go for simulation also. The simulation you can use either MATLAB. MATLAB you can use. Okay. MATLAB you can use, or else you can go for ORCAD simulation also possible, ORCAD. Definitely this can be carried out for your major project. So if you do a basic thing, simple inverter, if you design for mini project, definitely you can carry out some improvement in the major project, like uh, switching losses, you can minimize some auxiliary circuit, like a design of snubber circuit, you can design the snubber circuit, fine. So your whole setup will be like this only, battery, Battery output is connected to the inverter input. Then inverter output is connected to uh, the transformer. Okay, transformer. From the transformer, for example, you, you, are, you are able to get 12 volt. Then 12 volt can be boosted up to 230 volt using the step up transformer because the load requirement will be very high. Whatever the voltage you are getting is low. If you want, you can increase. Uh, uh, so you can use the transformer to step up the voltage. All right. So this is actually called a simple pro we can call it as a very simple project for uh, mini project level especially for those who are in sixth semester okay uh, at least uh, they have to reach sixth semester level so i'm not telling about the uh, lower semesters at least the student should uh, studying in the third year this project will be really useful so moving on to the discussion so another project which i noticed this uh, that is also quite interesting so implementation of battery charging circuit first of all you need to have a good idea about battery definitely you have to design a battery so it should prevent overcharging and deep discharging for example take a simple battery fine so how to uh, how to uh, segment or how to schedule a battery proper battery charging so simple thing you can use triple five timer you can make use of that triple five timer so it's a control rising so using the triple five timer you can easily make out so if you are not convenient with the uh, triple five timer, go for digital circuits. Like you can go for Arduino you know, or Arduino Nano. Anything is fine. Okay. Arduino level also you can do, but Arduino means you have to do the coding. Coding you have to do. You have to do the coding in compiler C. Coding is plenty available in websites. You can download the particular, uh, uh, particular coding and go for customization. So here the thing is very simple. Uh, find out the entire circuit. That is the first step. Block diagram is already here. Identify the circuit diagram. Circuit you have to identify. There is no programming, nothing because it's analog IC. Only connections. You have to do the proper connections in breadboard first. Once it is successful, you can directly transfer into uh, PCB. So we have the triple five, the uh, triple five timer IC. Then uh, power, the power supply. Uh, then we have di uh, diode. 
then the regulator there will be a regulator like uh, uh, it may be like 12 volt to 8 volt depends 16 volt to 8 volt there are different 780x go for 780x regulator 780x here depends on identify the requirement then output of the regulator is connected to a uh, triple five timer okay so because triple five timer is of uh, it is having operation is five volt maybe five volt you have to identify what is a uh, exact voltage of triple five timer so 12 volt to five volt converter that is the voltage regulator you have to use fine now uh, triple five timer will be operated based on the power per particular power supply it is all going to operate five volt maybe five volt fine LED just for an indicator. Now, this is your exact circuit. Here you can see we have a relay. Okay, relay just like a switch, electromechanical switch, electromagnetic switch. Okay, then there is a battery. You can see the battery. So it uh, protects the battery against overcharging and uh, deep discharging. Fine. So proper indication will be there. If it is battery charge, battery charging is proper, means you can use like uh, LED, like a green LED you can use. If the overcharging means you can go for uh, red LED, like that you can mention. Otherwise, if the charge is empty means you can go for uh, some other color LED. If the uh, battery is healthy, healthy charging, sufficient charge is available means you can go for other colors of light. That is up to your choice. Okay. Anyway, this topic will be useful to you, those who are interested in power electronics. Fine. Third topic. So you might have seen the DC motor, right? Simple DC motor you might have seen. So how to control the speed of DC motor? So you can use a triple five timer, of course, but let us go for another type of controller that is Arduino. You can use the digital type controller, Arduino. It can be purchased maybe uh, cheap and best actually. Okay, within uh, 500 INR, we'll, we'll be getting an Arduino. So uh, you know it's sufficient, no need to go for advanced one because you are carrying out a mini project. So speed control, tightly is the speed control of DC motor using Arduino. Here, uh, you need to know how to operate Arduino. Some uh, the fundamental programming you should know. You have to find out the coding corresponding to Arduino. Later, we have to uh, it has to be connected. Okay, the motor, then there is a port, potentiometer, then uh, we have the Arduino. Arduino is a controlling unit. Then uh, load is motor. Motor is the load. Fine. Uh, then the thing is, by using the particular port, you can change the speed of duty cycle. You can change the duty cycle. Okay. You can change that. You have to study what is a duty cycle. Okay. Duty cycle. Duty cycle. Duty cycle is nothing but the consider a pulse, the on period divided by total time period. So you, you can change the port and adjust the duty cycle. As the duty cycle increases, the on period of the PW will be increased. Based on that, the speed will be increased. Okay, so concept is very simple. So main thing is you have to consider the PW to operate. Okay, we, we have to generate the PW, correct. So PW will have on period. This is called on period. And this is your off period, fine, off period. So on, T on, this is T on. And we can see this is your total time period, total time period. Okay, so duty cycle is nothing but T on divided by total time period. That is nothing but T on divided by uh, T on plus T off. So as the duty cycle is high, uh, the on period of the PWM is high. You can write T on is high. This results high speed. So based on this parameter, you can easily control. So you can easily demonstrate as well. Do the breadboard once it is successful. Transfer the connection into PCB. Hope it is clear to everybody. Another interesting topic, okay, which I noticed another interesting topic that is uh, development of solar tracking using Arduino. Okay, so you know that uh, it is one of the topic related to renewable energy sources. So you already know that we will be getting. Uh, the solar energy operates at maximum efficiency when the solar radiations are perpendicular to the solar panel. But uh, during morning and evening, there is a changes in the solar radiation. At that time, uh, we have to tilt the, if, if you tilt the PV panel according to the direction of solar pan, uh, solar rays, we'll be getting the maximum efficiency. It is one kind of tracking system. Okay, so try to rotate the panel uh, with respect to the direction of sun. That is a basic concept. What we require is 
for movement we require one servo motor one servo motor we require okay servo motor we require a servo motor it's basically a control system servo motor we need a, for controlling purpose we require arduino arduino we require okay then we require a panel panel also required so panel is mounted this panel is mounted over the servo motor then it is controlled by the arduino so you have to download the coding compiler c coding you have to download just customize it okay you can customize according to the requirement you can customize and you can easily uh, ma ma made out okay circuit diagrams are available in the websites try to download it this topic is quite interesting for the higher level uh, you can do it in the major project so i think concept is clear to everybody now i would like to discuss another topic uh, uh, no, no investment is required for this particular project because most of the colleges they are having the pv panel so the performance analysis of polycrystalline and monocrystalline pv panel so these are the two popular type of pv panel used in the market first one is mono polycrystalline another one is called the monocrystalline pv panel uh, what i am going to do is i am going to compare the efficiency I'm going to compare the efficiency. How to compare the efficiency? First, you have to use the uh, polycrystalline panel. Okay. Then uh, connect a load through the ammeter and voltmeter. We have, we have to use the ammeter. Okay. Then we, we require the voltmeter also require. Okay. Then we have to use the one lamp, light load. Light load or you can use the potential meter. Okay. Now what you are supposed to do is uh, you have to change, you have to take different readings, change the potential meter and you can change, you can take a meter reading, then you can take the voltmeter reading, then you have to calculate the power. Fine, calculate the power. Uh, likewise, you have to go for two types of panel. One is monocrystalline, another one is polycrystalline. Now calculate the efficiency. Okay, measure the input power and output power. Then efficiency will be, uh, how to calculate efficiency, output power by uh, input power into 100 percentage you'll be getting the efficiency in percentage so based on that you can prepare paper also because uh, some of the universities are demanding to write the papers because that is good only your resume level will be highlighted so likewise you can do a detailed analysis also simple paper you can prepare you can present the paper so you no need to invest anything you can uh, take uh, photos and the same thing you can put up in the paper and you can do some research also fine other than that, you can go for like a thin film type uh, solar panel if it is available in the institution. Fine. So this is also another important project. So these kind of topics can be used for your mini project. I can, you can do a lot of research also. Let me know if you are having any uh, queries in this particular topic. If you have any queries, kindly put up, uh, the com uh, put, up, put up your queries in the comment box. I'm happy to answer back. So uh, I'll be coming up with a similar kind of videos in the next session. Thanks for watching this video. Happy learning.